What's up, y'all? So, I just got through rinsing my hands, washing my hands. Um, this is not going to be, of course it's not a review video, as you guys can see. Um, <clears throat> but what I'm going to do is just wash my face a little bit. I was going to, I don't know, I might exfoliate it since um, the 20% glycolic acid pills aren't doing anything for me. What I'm going to have, what I'm going to have to do is just get something stronger um, and look for like something from Peter Thomas Roth, who I know offers. Um, I also want to get my hands with this thing as well. So, as I said, always and your lips. Hope to lighten up your lips. What I notice is that uh, something normal is whenever you wash your face, whenever you wash your face, it's something that occurs with, with whenever you lighten your skin is basically your light, your, your, it's like your lips always look a lot darker, like, so it's like it's best to lighten up your lips first, because when the rest of the skin, the facial skin starts to light, lighten up in the neck and everything else, you just start to look like this big ass weirdo, so, um, but how are you guys doing, especially, um, concerning this coronavirus outbreak, <clears throat> everything here in New York is getting a lot worse compared to, or well, other states, especially in Queens. And I don't want to talk about any um, conspiracy theories or anything here in this video. I'm not Shane Dawson, so um, Dawson, Doss, I can never pronounce his name right, Dawson. I'm not Shane Dawson. I'm sure because I have a little accent, that's the way it comes out. Um, Shane Dawson, but I'm sure because he's at that level of um, viewership, basically subscribe, he got the amount of subscribers. And he's hoping to make YouTube make a ton of money. You know, they let him get away with videos like that, or he's able to get promotion. I just, I think, um, because I was just, I just received an email from a company um, called SoundCloud, um, and they sound familiar. Like right now, my memory is really bad, so I'm pretty sure I know who they are. Like I've heard about them before, somewhere around. And they are wanting to do like a video promotion with me. So this would be my first paid promotion. Which I think is nice. Um, but we'll see, you know, because some of these companies when they reach out to you is always something. And the thing, uh, you know, with me, about my, you know, with, uh, <clears throat> the thing about my channel is that I should have been earning a little $100 here and there. You know, which, you know, basically how I'm to my channel to grow. I'm not, I'm not going to make it a race thing. But, you know, here on YouTube, you know, when I, I see other, you know, people with 10,000 subscribers. And here I am almost at 15,000 subscribers. And, you know, supposed, supposed to earn at least 1,000. I feel like a lot of people with 10,000 earn like two or three. More views than mine. I guess that's because... That's because um, most of the topics that are discussed about how to do with skin lightening and skin brightening, which a lot of people are not into, so for now on my videos will just be acne based, and I will be changing the name of my videos to how to get like um, more of a youthful glow to your skin, like a youthful brightening, how to basically brighten and um help your skin and glow that is so I have simply ordinaries here um or the ordinary but I call it simply ordinary 30% alpha hydroxy acid pill with the 2% BHA which I believe is a salicylic acid and the AHA is glycolic um acid if I'm not mistaken give me a second here It's not good to use any um, other exfoliants. Papaya is an exfoliant, but using any other exfoliant before you go ahead and use anything such as a BHA, beta hydroxy acid or um, alpha hydroxy acid is a huge no-no, especially if you get 
your skin down, you know, like get ready to do like a skin pill. Your dermatologist will tell you, or I would tell you, on a professional, um, pro uh, professional level, professional note, not to exfoliate your skin. Um, not to use any skin exfoliant, exfoliant within a week to two weeks before you go ahead. So cut out using any exfoliants a week or two weeks before going ahead and using anything such as glycolic acid or TCA. But um, because the TCA, the uh, glycolic acid that I'm using is only 20%, um, 20 even with the, you know, um, the pads that I'm using from Hollow Natural, you don't really notice that much of a difference. And the thing is, is that I really, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or not, but I see that it's becoming a lot more popular again because of um, a lot of the youth on TikTok, like the younger, you know, 35 is still young, but um, 20 year olds are extremely way younger than me. Um, even though I look like I can be passable for that age, which is a good thing, especially since I'm going back to school and shit. But I wouldn't, I refuse to take classes with like kids. It's, you know, like, um, which are not really quick. I mean, kids, like anyone in the age of 21 to 22 to 23, I think the society is basically beating them in his head and um, manipulating them and, and um, warping their minds and brain. Um, Controlling them to believe that you know that's that's an age you know like uh, that you should st you should behave a certain way you know um, at the age of 21 or 22 or 23 because we never had any of this in the 90s. I mean, once we hit well, I can't in the 90s. I was still a child, like 12. But I mean, like I guess for anyone, I mean, looking at my aunt who grew up in the 70s, that is. She didn't grow up the way that most, you know, 24, 23 uh, year olds. I think she still had like her, um, persona of immaturity, but it wasn't as bad as now where, you know, people are really trying to act like kids and really looking fools for it because a lot of 23 and 24 year olds, I mean, look older than me, look older than most of us who are in our 30s, which is crazy, but let me rinse this off and I'll be right back. Alright, so what I did was left my skin a little bit damp. <sighs> Just to help to get this to... Um, it might be, I don't know, because after you open this, there is an expiration date. After 12 months, and I believe I purchased this way, um... Before, like, 12, so, I mean, like, not so far behind, but you don't want to put any like chemicals and any type of ingredients on your skin, especially if they're old. That includes makeup. Um, so, I mean, if you went and do it with makeup, don't be crazy to do that with, you know, do it with basically, um, you know, The hell? All right, so it does sting a little bit. Um, that comes from using the papaya soap, um, and I guess from using my twenty percent glycolic acid cleansing pads. It's not a um. Like too bad, you know, stinging too bad. But if it, it feels like um maybe because I haven't really used this and I left this in the cabinet for so long, um, is that it became more potent, that type of feeling. Um and I don't wanna experience any skin exfoliation unless it's from um tretinoin because I know if I do this through uh glycolic acid it is just going to make my skin look a little bit more rough and I just got my skin back to looking a little normal so I'm not even going to keep this on for too long um, you can always allow for this to dry uh, I would not recommend this for first time 
alpha hydroxy acid uses, but let it dry the first time. And then go ahead and apply a second coat. I believe um, the ordinary or simply, I'm just gonna say simply ordinary states, you can leave this on your skin for 10 minutes. Okay. So it's intended to be used as a mask. I mean, what what alpha hydroxy acid pill isn't? <laughs> um, but do not leave on the skin for longer than ten minutes. Um, if you you already know to do, if you have any type of irritation, such as um, redness or burning or pulling right after. Cause it take like a couple, I mean like, like right away, like as soon as possible. Cause it take like a couple, um, about a day or two or three for you, for anyone to notice your skin reacting to an alpha, an AHA or BHA. So I'm going to leave this on for 10 minutes. I'm going to come back and then um rinse this thing off before it starts stinging even more so as i said i don't want my skin to exfoliate too too much you know all right so i'm gonna i'm going to see you i'm gonna go ahead and um rinse my hands here i need me a good skin cream this is fair enough and it, it helps to lighten up the face even more quicker than the body but I really do need me some emu oil because I noticed my skin is really dry and it looks really, um, it doesn't look vivacious enough or like there's not enough life in my skin. Like it's been looking really, um, really dry, really discolored. Um, it looks okay. I mean, what you see on the camera is basically what you get when my skin is real, but so oh, maybe it's all in my mind, but sometimes I notice, you know, when suffering with acne, one thing I notice is my skin looks real patchy and I hate that. Um, so I'm going to give my Clinic Clears Whitening Body, uh, Clinic Clears uh, Whitening Body Lotion with Swiss Formula, Swiss, Swiss, Swiss Formula, S-W-I-S-S. A little shake. Always give your products a good shake. Use a vigorous amount. That's enough for me to rub on my hands, my neck, and my face. Um, how you can get your skin products to work. I'm going to take my headphones off here. Hopefully I can get still get some good audio quality for my video. Um, just massage this into... Um, your face, take the back of your hands and massage it into your neck. Don't use, you know, because especially if you didn't get in the shower yet, that is, I didn't, I didn't take my shower until later. So, um, and just go ahead and use, I mean, after you're done massaging your, your face, because you don't know your neck could be oily and then you're transferring like, you know, like your oil to your face your neck sweat and everything to your face and, and you start to break out so there's a new horror movie coming out and i forgot the name of it but i want to see i want to see it so bad no it's not candy man i hated candy man i could never stand candy man as a kid um i think when um god bless the dark when my sister used to come and pick me and my my sister's father used to come and pick me and my sister out um he always played horror movies and he scared me so bad that I used to wet the bed and her father used to try to like hit me. I'm like, well, you know, a lot of African American parents are like not too bright. Like, why would you play a horror movie around a child and not have sense to know, know you know, and ask and question yourself, you know, like what, you know, what is going to happen to the child if I, you know, um, show them this movie, like maybe the child is gonna, 
get so, you know, get so scared to the point where they might not even be um, able to get up and use the bathroom. Probably just later. Like, I remember waking up my stepbrother, Kevin, and, you know, just like telling him I gotta use it. But I was just like really scared. Like, just wait there in front of the door for me. I think he did on one occasion. Um, but after that, like, it was like a no more thing for me and my, um, sister's father. I couldn't stand him. Um, and there's so much about him, you know, like, I have so much stories this year. Like, one of my, so my, um, therapists is telling me, you know, like, um, that I really should write a book, you know, because I have, like, a lot of things that I went through. Um, if you would notice, you would see some redness in my skin. Um, so on this area right here, some areas right here. So my skin brightened, like this lotion is really taking off. Um, and there you have it, so. I hope all of you are doing okay. Stay safe during these times. I mean, it seems as if nothing is getting any better. I mean, it basically seems like a lot of it's just getting worse. Um, I would put some glycolic acid on. Like, it's just 20% of it on, you know, you know, as an overnight thing, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. So, uh, I'm going to look for something else. So, I'm looking at the um, Tasha's Brightening Serum, but the reason why I never shot that Nordstrom, well, no, I did for my niece. Um, that is like an ulcer a couple of times, but that's because for the makeup, you know, like, but when it comes to skin brightening products, you know, I like my Asian products because Asians know best, you know, when it comes to Tasha. I don't know what Tasha is. I think Tasha is an Asian product. I'm not sure because what I used to believe is like, you know, um, Sephora and I used to believe that, you know, Sephora and I really still can't say what all sense Sephora pretty much is. Oh yeah. Also, it is that another area of my body that's really, really lightening up is my neck area and the chest area. Um, my arm areas have always been light, but it's getting lighter. Um, and these scars that I have here always fade over time. So what I'm going to be doing is using my 0.5% Derma Roller Needle. I don't know, I just had a, oh, here we go. So it's just test this out on like my um, tissue area right here. Like underneath here, because I know with the 0.5, that you can use this twice every um twice every other week or three times. Like every day I, I believe it is until you go taller. So it's just like using tretinoin in a way because I I noticed that this I mean to me this is like using tretinoin. It gets my skin to exfoliate um right after using it. So Thank you so much for those of you who are not uh, for those of you who are subscribed to my channel. For those of you who are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to um, smash that like button and give me as many likes as you can. I know you a lot of you got multiple YouTube channels. Don't be afraid to watch my my videos through your other channel. If not, that's cool. I don't care. Um, my channel will grow anyway. So. Um, and just go ahead and um, leave me a comment underneath the comment section below. I love you all through the grace of God. And I hope that you are doing well. Stay safe. Uh, listen to your government. Um, we are going through like a little distant thing here in New York where it's like um, only two people or three people can be. Like say for example in the pharmacy when I go to pick up my anxiety medication like when I went today. Um, it was only two people allowed in here. And I think that's, I'm, I never pull a race car. I won't even go there, but you know, it's just two ladies that work in there. And I don't know, they, I just get like, a, I'm a really like, um, sensitive person. So, um, I'm what you, an introvert, I'm what you would call an empath. I'm extremely empathetic and I pick up on, um, a lot of um, like negative and positive. Like I pick up on things very easily and, um, um, it's almost time for another haircut, a little bit shorter than this. I like the way I look, just because, you know, I see people calling me arrogant just because I say I look good today or um, I look I look handsome, okay? Just because you have uh, some self-esteem and don't be, never be afraid to say how beautiful you are 
or how handsome you are, especially as an African American because um, we live in a society and a generation where people in the world where people want us to believe that um, black beauty is not beautiful. And I know that I'm gorgeous. So, I mean, if you want to call me cocky or arrogant because I don't care, like, I mean, maybe if your self-esteem was boosted, you know, you wouldn't see me and so, you know, wouldn't hold me in such a negative light. So I don't, I don't look at people, you know, that's not my perspective. When I see people talk well about their self, it depends, you know, it, it shouldn't even depend, you know, because you will never know, you know, what somebody is going through. So it's just one of the things, um, but those of you for sticking with me and never judging me, but for those who do judge me, stay away from my channel. I don't need you in my life. I've been through enough in my life. And the last thing I need is, you know, any childish bullshit, you know, like any childish fifth grade or sixth grade behavior. I don't need that. I'm, I'm a grown ass man in my thirties. Okay. Um, and I don't have to keep, you know, explaining or repeating myself. Like, a lot of my old subscribers used to tell me, but I'm going to keep going with YouTube, going to keep dishing out as many videos as I can. Um, you know, it's just so this way I won't lose um, the attention of my subscribers and I can get as many as you guys to watch my videos as you can. So I did mention how I'm trying to work. I'm working on growing my channel. And as I said, I just got, uh, I think I did stay in the beginning of my video how I got a paid promotion. So I'm hopefully is a, is a real thing, you know, because I can take some of that money and really use it. I won't have to wait for any settlement money or, or like this $1,200 that Trump claimed he's supposed to send with the stimulus package. Like that would really help, but we'll see. So anyway, I love you all and stay safe. Keep your family safe. Um, don't be selfish. You know, take some caution, you know, take a lot of the good, just be really precautious and um, take care of your families and your loved ones, just basically your loved ones, you know, like keep them safe. If you truly love someone, you would keep them safe, you know, so take